After the final part of the seven-book series about the boy who lived, the initially negative figure of the potions master came to be seen as tragically positive. Of course, the story of love and devotion to Lily Potter is a great drama for the hero. But is he really a protagonist? No, absolutely not, and we clearly see this in the films. Let's start with the fact that Severus Snape was a Death Eater. He became a follower of the Dark Lord of his own free will, though influenced by youthful fascination with the ideas of his older friends, particularly his future godfather, Lucius Malfoy. It is believed that the turning point in his life was when high schooler Severus called his beloved childhood friend Lily Evans a mudblood, which supposedly caused the love of his life to turn away from him, leading the Slytherin to choose the path of evil. However, well-mannered people do not call their friends derogatory names, and more importantly, Snape started hanging out with future Death Eaters at the beginning of his education at Hogwarts, which bothered Potter's mother. And the fact that he had a tough childhood and was tormented by the Marauder's Quartet does not justify the character. Neville, for example, was also bullied. And so what? All right, here we have a young Snape, who, after overhearing a prophecy on his boss's orders, realized it was about his beloved son. Voldemort, as you remember, promised Severus not to kill Lily, but the Death Eater still goes to the competitor and leaks his boss's plans. Yes, his boss is the epitome of evil, but still, the future professor has no sense of corporate secrecy and loyalty. Moreover, Snape does not seek good from good, joining the Order of the Phoenix for purely selfish reasons. He is not at all interested in the fate of Mrs. Potter's child and husband, nor the magical world as a whole. A decade passes. Snape becomes a professor, and he genuinely hates children. He humiliates everyone except his favourites, the children of his Slytherin friends and Death Eaters. He openly dislikes Harry because of his father's sins, so impartial, and he never grows to love him. Severus is an excellent potions master, yet a poor teacher. Just recall the terror he instilled in poor Neville. And the occlumency lessons necessary for the common good are interrupted by the professor for personal reasons, though he can be understood, Harry was simply unbearable. After Dumbledore's murder, which he did not want to commit, not out of sympathy for the headmaster, whose life was already nearing its end. Snape stays at Hogwarts, doing everything to minimize the danger to students. When Potter returns to school, Severus simply leaves, deflecting the teacher's attacks but not responding to them. He passes on memories to Harry that supposedly justify him. Nothing of the sort. Snape did indeed love Lily very much, but her son... Not at all. He helped Dumbledore to avenge the Dark Lord for killing his beloved. He treated students horribly, but he saved them. So yes, Snape is a hero, but he is clearly not a good person, and definitely not a positive character. What do you think of Severus Snape? Write in the comments.